Y'all trying to do me dirty. Y'all trying to do me dirty. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this gorga day? It ain't even pretty outside. What am I saying? What am I saying? Hi. <laughs> Anyways guys, what is up today's video? I am so excited about today's video because on Instagram, I posted like a while back actually. Oh my gosh, I haven't like gotten to filming this video. <laughs> There's been a lot of things happening. I posted on my stories asking what were your guys' least favorite makeup products ever? Like what were the things you hated the most of all peachy makeup? And basically that's what today's video is going to be. I'm gonna be using all of your guys' least favorite makeup. I saw Miss Laura lean with it, rock with it. Do this. <laughs> That's my nickname for her, Miss Laura, lean with it, rock with it. It's a work in progress. So I watched it, I lived for it, and I want to create a video just like that. So shout out to Laura, shout out to everyone that's done it before Laura, period. Also, this hoodie is from ASOS, in case anyone's wondering, because it is a fucking cool hoodie. A hoodie, a hoodie. <sighs> it's a cool hoodie. I feel like I can fucking crunk with it. Is that crunking? Okay, let's stop aging myself now, please. So yeah, you guys, that's today's video is going to be, as always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it, you know, enjoy with that. But if you guys do like this video, please don't give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Like, how does words escape my mouth so quickly is what I don't understand. Let's get started. <laughs> okay guys, so about this video, so I chose items that were said to me several times. There's some products in here that were, was said like 40 times. <laughs> and I was like, okay, y'all ain't playing some games. So even though I've used some of these things, I like some of these things too. Some things I haven't tried in a really, really long time, or I have, but it's been like not a great experience for me. <laughs> so first things first, primer. We're going with our primer first. I am shocked that so many of you guys put this in there. This is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I grabbed the Luminous one because I kind of wanted to try it anyway, but I figured I would just kill two birds with one stone and use the Luminous version just to try it out and see what we think of the Luminous version. Por que no? Por que no? Pinchy por que no? I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the Putty Poreless Primer by Pelf. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that into the T-Zone. I've used the regular one. That's why I'm using this one right now because I've used the regular one and I actually really liked it. Like I did, I can't help it. But I had several people also say the Tatcha Silk Canvas. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe people just don't like this kind of consistency. They don't like this kind of texture. Like they feel like they didn't do enough for them. And I understand, like I get that. For me, I love it. I, at least I love the Tatcha one. I love it a little bit. And I feel like the Elf one is a really good alternative and dupe for the Tatcha one, actually. So if you guys like the Tatcha Silk Canvas, I feel like the Elf one's a good dupe. A lot of people do not like it, but some people do. Okay, so my hand has some glimmer on it, some beachy glimmer, and my face is kind of glittery. Not glittery, but like it's shimmery. Like there's shimmer, hardcore. But luckily, the particles are so small of the shimmer that it's not bad, but it is like basically just shimmer sitting on top of your face. So I think it's absorbed. So that's what you're wanting. We got it right here. Foundation wise. So two foundations that you guys put in there several times that I was completely shocked, flabbergasted, floored, and appalled were the Dior Air Flash. <laughs> oh, I know, I fucking know. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and read some of the comments. This one just made me laugh. So this is from Shio Bin Han Gallagher. Dior Air Flash foundation goes everywhere. Are you going like this? Are you doing that? Because I feel like you're fucking doing that when you're not doing that. And the other foundation that I got, of all the foundations that I got, this was the one that was in it the most. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. A lot of people are not saying why they hate them, but they're putting these things in there, which is crazy because so many of you put it when you don't know what you, everyone else is putting. So it's like kind of strange. It's really, really crazy. So DR Air Foundation and NARS Natural Radiant. I'm gonna... I sneeze into my shirt because I'm fucking healthy and I am fucking wealthy. Neither are true. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Dior Air Flash, which I love, and I like the NARS Natural Radiant too. <laughs> you guys make me sick, man. You make me fucking sick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with Dior Air Flash and we're gonna spray a bro, I almost fucking sprayed like this. Pendeja aquí in the fucking eye. So I'm gonna go and spray the Kabuki brush. This, like, this is how I like to apply it personally. I'm gonna spray the Kabuki brush. This is a Morphe M439. And I'm gonna go ahead and press this into the skin. I really do love this foundation, y'all. I like it. I think it's really pretty. I think it looks so gorgeous on the skin. It gives you a really pretty luminous finish. This one got put in here maybe three times, three times total. The one that just made me laugh was that comment, which is like, it goes everywhere. Well, my personal humble opinion 
would be not to apply it, spray it onto the face because it will absolutely go everywhere. Try just spraying it onto a kabuki brush first and then using it all over the skin and just kind of press it in from there. This is in the shade 205, not really my shade. I would say it's a little dark for me to be quite honest. I would love to be the shade, you guys know this by now. You guys know I love the wrong shade. I just know this is not my shade. <laughs> Y'all can tell, don't lie. So we're gonna use that and then we'll put a little bit of the NARS over top. I was honestly shocked that NARS was in it so many times. It was like maybe like 15 times for foundation. It was my highest foundation in there that you guys said that you didn't like. So I'm assuming it's because it has, again, a luminous finish. It doesn't last as long on the face as like longer wear foundations. It's definitely, definitely doesn't. I like it because I feel like it looks really, really pretty on the skin. A lot of people just don't like that. I guess y'all don't like to look beautiful, huh? I'm just kidding. I like it because I feel like I like the coverage of it. I like the consistency of it. So I do really enjoy this foundation. So I'm kind of bummed that you guys don't like it, but yeah, I was shocked. I personally, in this one, I don't agree with as much. I can agree with the Elf one for sure. I can agree with the Dory Air Flash for sure. But the NARS Natural Radiant, I was just like, I can't really jump on board with this one. You know, I'm going down with the ship as you will. I'm going down with the fucking ship. So this is my skin. Obviously, it's never looked more greasy in my whole existence. Ooh, that's grease. That is Crisco. Hey, Chris, how you doing, mama? Next, we're gonna go in with our concealer. So this is the, the product that was the most put in here by far. Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. Concealer, I'm in concealer, I'm concealing. I, oh shit, it's not my shade. I thought this was my shade, this is a brand new one. Huh, light neutral is not me. Maybe it is me, but I'm not saying it's me. A lot of people were saying that it's too dry on them, it gives them creases, it doesn't work with their complexion, like it makes them look more dry under the eyes than not dry. And honestly with that, I have to agree, I do feel like it is a very drying consistency. I will say my mom does not like dark shade. <laughs> And she says that because it's too drying for her, like it makes it look like she has more wrinkles than she has. And she's like, no bitch, it emphasizes every single wrinkle, every single crepe and crevice. Oh my God, crepe sounds so good right now, shut up. So I have to agree with that, I have to agree. I definitely can see it when I'm putting it on, like that it definitely is not the most hydrating concealer ever, for sure. So I have to agree with you guys on this one. I think that it's a cult staple, I think it's a cult favorite. I personally love it, but that's because I don't have as many arrugas underneath my eyes. And I said it pretty quickly and I tend to, you know, it helps me, like for sure that helps. But a lot of people don't like it, especially if you're more on the dry side, a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people would be scared. It's more so when you said it that it looks really like pew, 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 pew. Like honestly, I'm so full coverage right now, it's not even funny. Okay, powder, let's go and set this carita at least a little bit under my eyes so I can do more products over here. The powder you all chose, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. Becca. The mist and refresh, fresh and remist. What are you called? Hydra mist, set and refresh powder. My face is getting fucking darker, by the way. Dear Air Flash, are you oxidizing? Hmm? You're doing something to me, mama. You're doing something. Never noticed that before. <laughs> so the Becca <laughs> fucking polvo. You guys, she's not my tea. I feel like I have vocalized and the reason I don't like it is because it oxidizes my foundation or concealer, whatever the hell it touches, more than it should be. I will say that I think the consistency is very cool because when you touch it, it's like water. It feels like watery, it's like kind of cool. But baby, what's the point if you turn like not my color? Um, I promise you, like you can't tell on camera as much, but it does oxidize, it makes me. Okay, you know what, for me, this is my personal experience, right? But you guys chose it too in your least favorites. You chose it too. You chose it too. It is making my face darker. And um, I don't know why. I don't know why. This makes me fucking violent, you guys. It's just not a good powder. I will say the consistency is cool. I think it's nice, like texture wise and it feels good, but they fucking tried it. Next, blush time. Blush, 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 blush. So blush, the one that was suggested the most was the Florence by Mills. This is Millie Bobby Brown's brand blushes. Actually, just in general, the brand was suggested a lot. <laughs> Not specifically the blush. The blush was set a couple times, but just in general, Florence was suggested a lot. So I'm like, you know what? I don't have a thing for blush. Let's use this for the blush. I'm taking the shade Glowing G, and we're gonna put the... Shit. Shit, I'm scared. What am I doing? I don't freaking use... <laughs> We're just gonna put that onto the cheek. We put it too far into the cheek. Okay. And it is blending away fully. 
Where'd you go, honey, for such a dark? Tell me this shade is not dark as fuck. Like, this is a dark blush. And for me to pounce it away, like, so easily is kind of strange. Like, how is someone going to use this as its own? Like, it literally just completely, completely disappeared. There's, like, a little bit of a tint of pink. Huh. You guys, what the fuck? When I'm touching it, it feels really greasy and oily, baby. For being that shade to start, and this is what it got to on my foundation, like when I just pounced it away, it doesn't make any fucking sense, and it turns to oil. It's little, mm, mm, ma'am, that's grease. No, 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 no. No me digas. Oh my gosh, I've never tried that, and I don't like it. <gasps> you guys, y'all trying to fuck me, huh? You try to fuck me. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Didn't even take me dinner first, but you still try to fuck me. That blush was whack. I'm so sorry. I wonder what, is there any... Thing from Florence and Mills you guys enjoy because that was a little rough. Okay, so this powder, by the way, this one, it's obviously been a while since I've used this, like a very, very long time. And I'm not getting the wet consistency like I usually do from it. Like it just feels like a dry ass powder. So I'm not even getting the cool effect of it, but it's still oxidizing my foundation. Mmm, fun for me. Okay guys, so we have for bronzer, someone had suggested the Kylie bronzer so that everyone was saying kylie peachy bronzer and i was like okay <laughs> we'll use kylie peachy bronzer it's been a while since i've actually used this i used it a long long time ago but basically she had said that it was really patchy it was a very very patchy bronzer i don't really see it as much when i'm using it as a bronzer i don't see the patchiness especially like on my forehead it's a very soft bronzer like it's not a pigmented bronzer at all it's one that builds however personally i do enjoy a builder i enjoy more of a bob the builder more over a handy manny. I'm just kidding. I'm not getting patchiness vibes. I personally think that it's actually a cute bronzer because I do like that it's pressed so hard and I like that it doesn't really put too much down on me and you can kind of control it really, really well. So this is the only bronzer I had that was in the recommendations was Kylie Bronzer. This isn't the shade Toasty, by the way. This is the one I used. Maybe it's a different color that she had that didn't work as well, but Toasty for me worked well. So for highlighter, by far, the most scent in highlighter was the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter. I have used that before. It is horrible. And I had it set aside here, but it's gone. Gone. So what I haven't said is the e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter, which I don't know if I've ever used. I don't think I have. Oh my God, I almost spilled. Holy shit, that is watery. You scared me. We're gonna go in and just try the Jelly Highlighter. Um. No, 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 no. And the reason I'm not liking it is because it's drying so freaking fast. And as I'm like patting it and blending it away, it goes away. It just disappears. It like turns into a powder. But I promise you, like it looks weird on the skin because my face is already set. Like it almost like leaves a cast on the skin, but it's not a pretty cast. It literally like, honey, honey. And I think I actually did get some people saying the jelly highlighter from e.l.f. They did say jelly. I just saw the baked one more. But I definitely got some requests from that. But it is, oh my gosh, I don't like it. It just looks so weird on the skin. It didn't take off my foundation underneath or anything. Don't get me wrong, it did not. But over like my set face, it is really strange. And I don't like it. I felt darkness with that one. I felt like darkness falls. It just doesn't like do anything, to be quite honest. Like you would think that I would have more of an effect with the amount I put on. What is this? What is this? Crunking. You guys are making my face look so bad. You're making it look so bad? <laughs> Cause usually I feel like when I do videos like this, or not this one specifically, but videos along the lines of like testing things I don't really like as much, I can make my face work, like I can make it work. Right now, this is dark, this is not our journey. And I look like fucking Donald Trump and I sound like him too. Next we're gonna move on to the Binchy Brows. By far the product that was put into this is Anastasia Dip Brow. So Dip Brow was by far the product that people put in here that were like, no, Dip Brow, I can't stand her, I can't use her, she's not it, she's not the tea. So I'm like, okay, tell me how you really feel. So we're gonna go and use some Dip Brow. I'm just gonna lightly fill, like it's not even the color I should be using. And I think it's because people were thinking like, oh my God, it just like doesn't look good, like it looks too harsh, it's too crazy. I'm gonna show you guys how you can get it to be not crazy looking. Like you can make it look really pretty and just, softer with a light pressure. Like we can make it happen. Don't think we can't. This is by the way, the worst shade is this. Blonde, I mean, why am I using the shade blonde when I have black hair? I don't know. I just wanna show you guys that you don't need a lot. 
and you don't need a heavy pressure. You can just make it look really, really like full without making it look crazy or necio, you know? Without making it look necio. Look at that. Look at that. A nice, just shapely brow, something soft and subtle. And all you need to do is get a little spoolie and just spoolie it out. Just make it look just natural and just fluffy. It's still filled, obviously, but not like anything crazy. And this is with dip brow, you know? A little bit goes a very, very, very long, long way. And as long as you guys are kind of blending along the way, you guys can make it look just fluffy and nice and just super chill. See? To me, like, that's, that's pretty. It's soft, it's easy. This is obviously not my color, but this is what I had. So, <laughs> boom and boom, Metro boom and want some more. Okay, I'm gonna go finish the other brow off camera and I'll be right back. We're gonna finish off the eyes and we're gonna finish off the eyes. Okay guys, so I'm back and the brows are filled. 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 <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Why do I like a blonde dip brow in my brow? You guys can really, okay, I'm zoomed in right now. You can see under my eyes how it's oxidized right there. You guys see that? Like how it's just dark there. This is what I'm fucking talking about. The polvo, the peachy polvo makes me dark. And yeah, the concealer was slightly too dark for me, but like it was still good. I could still very much use it, you know? Now we're going to go primer eyes. Okay guys, so for eye primer, the eye primer that got the most votes actually by far, which kind of made me sad, is the ABH. Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eye primer. So I was kind of shook and shocked and floored and flabbergasted. So I'm gonna go and put that onto the lids. I don't know why this one was said that it's like the worst and like so many people said that they don't like it. I like this primer. I think it's nice. I feel like it really brightens up my shadows underneath. If you used it, why didn't you like it? I'm so curious. I will say it does crease a little quick. So I almost feel like you have to use it like fast or like what I'll do is I'll set it with this transition shade and then I'll go in with like other shades on top of it. But I do feel like it really grasps onto color nicely. By the way, for every product that I'm talking about here, if you don't like it, please tell me why I don't like it because I don't know other than the products I don't like. Because <laughs> there's a lot that I don't like here. There's a lot I don't fucking like. Okay, so for eyeshadow palette, I'm sorry that I have to do this too. Like I'm actually genuinely sorry, but you were the only one that people voted for. Truly, it was kind of devastating. The Naked by Urban Decay, the original Naked palette by Urban Decay is the palette that was voted the most in here for once I hated the most. And I'm gonna assume when you're looking at it, honestly, it's a little rough. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little fucking rough. I'm happy they retired her. I'm gonna go ahead and just assume that it's because there's like no transition shades in here. There's like three matte shades, like literally three. Three. A lot of people were just saying that it's like not good quality, it's expired, it's old, which I get, I understand. Um, also like quality nowadays has changed so much. Like I feel like shadows, like things are just so much better now. Cause there's so much competition when it comes to shadows. I still think that they're nice. It's not like they're bad quality to me, but Urban Decay has gorgeous product. They have gorgeous product. Okay, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna use Miss Naked. See, I'm already creasing the ABH, man. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Naked, literally Naked, and that's gonna go into Morphe M53, hmm? M533 brush. And that's gonna go into our crease. You know, with this palette, it's just, I wish there were more mattes. I think that there needs to be, there's how many shades in here? 12 shades. I believe it retailed for like $54. So it was expensive, bitch. It was expensive. For what it is, it was too expensive for what it is, honestly. They needed at least six mattes and like six shimmers, for sure. For, to be like a good neutral palette, they needed way more mattes, by far. But I'm just putting this into the crease. It's very just neutral, cool tone shade. It almost gives me like bronzer vibes into my crease. And there's not much I can do with this kind of palette. There's just not a lot to me. Like there's not a lot of variety. Cause for example, if I were to create a nude palette, like with my own brand, right? If I were to create a nude palette, technically I did with Morphe. This is like a nude palette to me. This is like neutrals. To me, this is nudes. What I created here with Morphe, my glam palette. But I feel like I can do so much with this. Like I really genuinely do, but I created it. More with this $20 palette than I can with the $54 palette. But I love it, it has like, I like the variety of this. 12 shades. Variety. That's just my opinion. I'm gonna put this into the crease. Very just cool toned brown. Um, let's take the shade Buck. Come on, Buck. Ooh, she got a wow Buck. And that's gonna go into the outer corner and just kind of fluffed in. It's too cool toned. Oh my God, this whole look is cool. Oh no, you guys help me. What am I gonna do? I'm trying to be braver and be more cool toned, but this is like a lot of gray. How the fuck are you? You guys, how is? Mm. 
it's just wild because the Naked palette was a staple. Y'all cannot tell me you don't remember the time when the Naked palette was a staple in our homes and in our community. But baby, this look, oh my God, everyone used to do this look. It would be way too dark in the outer corner with like a fucking half baked on the lid. That's what it was, honestly. That's what the look was. <laughs> way too dark and they put gunmetal out here. They put gunmetal her. Why did they do that? Okay, so we're taking the shade half baked. We're gonna just do what people used to do all the time. Or Spectre. They used to put the Spectre on there too, half baked. We're just gonna put that onto the lid. I think the shimmer is nice. It's sweet. It's dainty. It's soft. It's not like a pow in any way, shape, or form, but it's not horrible. Oh my gosh. Mm. I'm happy she was retired. I feel like she it was her time to go. You know, and I hope that the funeral was gorgeous and I hope that the casket was, you know, gorgeously ivory or ebony, whichever you like. And I hope that it was stunning. Tell me you don't remember this eye. Oh my God. Ooh, okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eye and I'll be right back. <sighs> okay guys, so I'm back as you're done. Um, <laughs> It's rough in these fucking streets. I knew a lot of girls that would wear this eye. I knew a lot of girls. So we have eyeliner and mascara. And those are the things, by far, on, on both of these, by far, the winner, the ones that what's put in there the most, for mascara was better than Sex by Too Faced. This was by far, people hate the Too Faced Man mascara. I'm like, okay, okay. They just had it flakes off on their skin throughout the day. I get it, I get it. And then we have, one that I just don't agree with. I can't agree with this. I'll never agree with it. Never in my whole existence. Eyeliner that was put in there the most was Kat Von D Trooper. I know. I know. Don't start with me. Why is this in here? I don't know. I love it. I pinchy love it. And it's so easy to use. I just can't. I can't. I don't agree. Is it because you don't like Kat Von D that's in here? Is that why? I actually got one comment that... <laughs> one of the comments was like, I left the cap off and it dried up so fast. I hate it. So you're mad that you left the cap off and it dried off? Right, 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 right. You're always right. <laughs> you're always fucking right. I'm just gonna do some eyeliner. I'm gonna do a cute little wing. And by little, I mean... Ah! Ah! I touched my fucking iris! I love this eyeliner. You can't tell me shit. I'm like, girl, Kat Von D isn't even at KVD Vegan Beauty anymore. She ain't even there anymore. Like, can we support the brand now or what? Like, are we allowed to support them? Because shit, I always thought they had gorgeous products, but I didn't want to support it because I didn't support her, period. I did not support KB Cap on D. I did not support her as an owner, but now that she's gone and she's no longer making any kind of money off of the brand, I don't see why I wouldn't support them, to be quite honest. They have a brand, a team of people that still work for the brand hard, so why the fuck wouldn't I support them? What do you guys think? Are you guys gonna continue to support them or not support them now that she's gone? What do you guys think? It's kind of like a good question, right? But I've always supported this, and it's always been good to me. That's good. Don't play me. Don't play me. So we're gonna go in curl. No, we're gonna put this on. And we're gonna see. This one, I will say, I agree. It's a pretty dry formula, and it does flake off on the skin throughout the day. Like, I will 100% agree with that. I still think it's a nice mascara. I don't, I don't think it's like the, my least favorite mascara ever, but it could be better. Y'all know it could be. Y'all know it could be better. You know what's crazy? My skin is so smooth right now. Like on my cheeks, like my skin is so smooth, but the color is so horrible that I can't even, it's just, oh, stop talking. <laughs> Clearly you can't talk and mascara at the same time. Shutting up, shutting up. I mean, it really doesn't even do that much for my lashes either. It doesn't really lift my lashes. It thickens them for sure, but it doesn't lift them. It doesn't really do anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Better than sex, what the heck. I used to like this mascara so much. I think I found so many other ones I like more now that this one I just kind of forget about. You know what? I'm not even gonna put a lash on. I'm not even gonna put a lash on. How could I when I look like this? Hmm? Just mascara and a wing and a dream. Okay guys, so for lip, we're gonna go in with our final product. Is our, no, we have two more and then we're done. The setting spray and the lip. Lip, you guys. So lip that was put in there by far the most. Not by far, like there was one other one that's underneath it, but like not that much far or away from me. The by far lip product that was in there was the Kylie Liquid Lipstick because they're so drying. And I agree, I think that they are actually really, really, really dry. Um, And then the second one was actually ColourPop's liquid lipsticks because again, for being drying. Again, I agree. Let's just go and put some liquid lipstick on. This is the shade. I love her shade, it's the bare. I love this beachy shade. I do, I really do. I think the cool thing about Kylie's company is that they have so many colors. 
I said a lip line, huh? Hmm. I don't think. I just don't think. Miss Bear. Miss Bear back. Don't look that up. Okay, so we have Bear. It's drying so quickly. <laughs> wow. Ooh, you can already see that that's drying down quick. Yo, I haven't worn a liquid lipstick that's drying like this in so long. The only liquid lipsticks I wear are my own brands. Lunar Beauties because they're non-drying liquid lipsticks. Like they have a comfortable like demi matte formula and I love them. This is another story. And last and final product of this fucking video is this setting spray. <laughs> this is the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face setting spray. I had to buy a new one because I didn't have the old one. So annoying. You guys, the fragrance from this, it's unmatched. Oh, I can't really smell right now because I'm, I'm like getting over cold. I, <coughs> I smelled you. I can't smell shit, but I smelled you. And that's when you know it got dark on this day. Bitch, this is setting, this is, this is hairspray. Oh! I can smell it, I can taste it, I can feel it in my bloodstream. <sighs> that setting spray is the most strong setting spray I've ever worn on my face ever. It literally does not let anything come off your skin. It is, stays in put. And I actually think that the formula, like if you're looking for a, like a setting spray that like keeps makeup on forever, this is the one. But the fragrance is so strong that it's not even like worth it. I have a headache right now. <laughs> I have a headache. <gasps> oh, it's coming on. That shit works so well, but it is just... The fragrance, the fragrance, please change it. And that's it, you guys. That's it for today's video using all your guys' least favorite products and your hatreds. And you know what? I have to agree with you for so many different things, you guys. So many things I agree. Some things I don't. What is this face? How I how am I gonna film TikToks after this when I look like fucking this? You expect me to go to Hamptons like this? Oh, it's bad. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for sending in your guys' products that you guys did not like, you guys hated. I appreciate it so much. This video was actually so fun to film because I was really curious about some things and some things I was not curious and I'm glad that I did it. My face has never looked worse. My skin's never looked worse. I don't think my eyes have ever looked worse than this. My lips are horrible. Y'all got me good. I will say, usually I feel like I can finesse a product to work well. Like, I really feel like I can finesse her. But y'all got me good. Y'all got me good as fuck because I look rough. That's bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I will catch you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye, you guys. I love you. Mwah. Stay safe out there, by the way. Please stay safe out there. Mwah. It is time to change up this fucking background is what time it is, sweetie. I am that bitch named Becky. Okay, we're gonna fucking film Jenny. And that's on what? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we are. We are here. Here we are. Here are we. I don't understand. But I don't understand. You know what I mean? By the way, this has nothing in it. Nothing. Like, are you... Now it's coming out. Mm -hmm. All that? All that? It's the first time I'm using it. It's the first time I'm using it. In my bosom. And in my... Bleh, my booty hole. It's never looking more greasy, greasy. Oh, shit. I want a hot dog real bad. Um, not my shade. Shit. They fucking tried it, dude. I don't see it on my skin. Do you guys see it on your skin? Cause I don't see it on my skin. It's dog times, Harry Potter. It's dog time. But when I assume I make an ass of myself, so I don't really know exactly. Lord. Oh my God, I keep poking my... Shut up. This is a story about a girl named Lucky. <laughs>